Hamish was a preemie baby, so he was born when I was 24 weeks pregnant and he was 380 grams. He was in hospital for eight months. He had chronic lung disease. Pretty much we were in isolation for a year just because we couldn't risk Hamish getting a cold. If he got a cold, then we were back in hospital and almost risking losing him. So that whole year was pretty full on. Each week the ophthalmologist, they checked the baby's eyes in NICU. We were told that at any stage we could get a phone call and say, today's the day, he needs surgery. And um, we got that phone call one day and he'd gone from no retinopathy of prematurity, which is ROP, to stage three. So if they didn't operate on Hamish, he could go blind. We always knew that he would wear glasses and we were fine with that because we knew that the glasses would help him and at that point he was short-sighted. But Hamish keeping them on was just a nightmare. And we got in and had his tests done and they um, did all the tests and then did them again and again and I said like what is going on and they said Hamish has grown out of being short-sighted so he didn't need glasses anymore but then the other thing is we knew that his eyes wobbled a bit which is called nystagmus and we were told that that is an indicator of him having ocular albinism. So when they told us that he didn't need glasses anymore, on one hand we were really excited, but then on the other hand there was still an issue and the glasses couldn't help him so we really felt like we were at a dead end. I spoke to some friends and some other doctors and they suggested going to see Can Do For Kids and within a week I had an appointment. It was just so good to have a path forward. So I walked out of there and um, I'm going to cry, <laughs> but there was some, um, I just felt that I could help my child. And whereas prior to that, with him not needing glasses, there was nothing else that we could do. So going to Kandu and having some options, we just felt that we could help our son. Hamish has individual um, fortnightly therapy with Molly Maloney, one of our occupational therapists. Hamish is such a bubbly little boy who will always come into therapy with the biggest smile on his face and be so excited. Oh, hello Hamish, it's Molly! Hey. You don't have to work too hard to get him going on an activity because he's just so happy to give it a go, which is just definitely one of his greatest strengths. What someone with typical vision could see from 60 metres away, Hamish would need to be 4 metres up to see. And that does classify Hamish as legally blind. Um, he does though have some useful vision and a lot of what we do with Hamish is working on making sure he's accessing and using that vision the best he can. Initially it was just about setting a baseline and doing some testing on him to see what it is that Hamish could actually see. <laughs> Having can do for kids we know all this information and ocular albinism it's not going to get better or it's not going to get worse. Hamish's vision is how it is, but it's just about managing that for him so that he can do some writing and he can join in and he won't be so far left behind at kindy and school. Hamish attends a group through Candy for Kids called Building Blocks. Uh, this group is aged from about three to five years and really working to support those preschool readiness skills. So this is, you know, gross motor development, so those big movements of the body. Also supports fine motor skill development, so pre-handwriting skills, hand strength, and also really important to develop those social skills, which is, has been a huge thing for Hamish and a huge focus of the group for him. Hamish is such an outgoing and excited little boy and he's got so many wonderful ideas that he just wants to share with everybody. But because he's not getting as much visual input about what other people are doing, sometimes he's not aware that he needs to slow down and let other people have a turn. We've been working on prompting him to face the speaker and make sure that he's listening to where the noise is coming from so that he's looking at the person that he's talking to. H4 Hamish. Hamish. Can you trace over the top? Often a child who has low vision may be a bit slower to develop their fine motor skills and those functional movements of their hands. So we do lots of Play-Doh and lots of tactile exploration. That's really working to build his muscle strength so that he can undo his lunchbox lid and zip up his bag or write his own name. Can Do For Kids has just helped Hamish so much. It's just amazing, like he's just come so far. As he's become older and learned how to compensate with his vision a little bit more, he is more confident to give activities a go. Ready, swish. He's got a really supportive family, which you can tell he does because he's such a happy little boy and he's always progressing so well. 
We're always looking to make sure that Hamish is at the same level as other children and, and like we know that there is no normal, but being able to hold the pen correctly and like move a peg, they are the types of things that we identify to then say to Molly and Lucy, should he be up to here? And they're amazing as well, they really work with Hamish and he loves them, <laughs> but we love them too. <laughs>